there's two understandings one is it's a royal we you know when the queen was in this country she would refer to herself as saying and we even though she was addressing herself in the singular so there are other examples in the new testament where people singular people address themselves with the with the plural us now let me yeah so and then the other understanding which is taken is that god is speaking in his divine court where he's at the head and he has his people working around him like the angels powerful human beings judges they are working in god's court and god is then directing them so when god say he's given an order to the angels those are the two interpretations of genesis chapter 1 verse 26 but it doesn't notice something here it doesn't mention jesus there it does not mention jesus there in any way shape or form are you following what i'm saying to you so therefore what we want you to reflect upon so most of us are you going to tell her right, what excuse me told me excuse me gentlemen what did you say about that? so um he told me that i was a monkey and he told me also that i'm a slave and he told me that the bible is racist because he uses the other word and he called me a uncle tom so that was only over there and i'm just waiting to uh, see can you please deal with this person we're having a nice conversation he's butted in and being aggressive as usual can you just ask him to leave please um, i haven't said anything uh, so far i haven't uh, it's you, you spoke well it's, it's been filmed you have spoken He's not inviting the conversation. Excuse me. I've only met you once before, if you recall. Yeah, no. Can you move aside? Excuse me. You see? This lady here. You see? They were having a civil conversation, and he came from that lady over there. You saw that? You saw that? Why did you need to do that? This is what I'm saying. Everyone needs to be here. No, but can you? Yes. Absolutely. But what we don't want is we don't want people. Yep. This is an independent person. Officer, listen to this lady. She observed the kufa. He's trying to incite hatred against Islam. I'm Jewish myself, so I'm impartial. He's trying to decide hatred against yeah. Islam. Respect you. He keeps calling this gentleman a caveman, which is kind of disrespectful just because he has uh, Muslim Islamic attire. I think uh, that's actually disgusting. Uh, it's, it's a racial slur. Racial slur, yeah. Please. Can you just ask him to leave? Yeah. Please. That, that's fine. He's basically attacked this gentleman yeah. here. Yes. I saw it. Okay. And now I have a pleasant, pleasant <laughs> comment with this very pleasant lady. Uh, so he, he jumped in. Can so you ask him to leave, we please? We were actually set up over there. I, I, can, the very, I, I can tell you, see, but, um, you see, there's lying, no, no one never here. Lying. We've never seen them. We, we are here every single day. They, 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 they make it. They made it so provocative that right, they are right next to us, and they are coming in in front of our store and speaking to our people. They're not letting us talk to anyone. Why are they stopping us from doing this? Yeah, you're enjoying yourself, but no, Islam is spreading. Of the Quran, what does Jesus say? Which say it's spreading that, you know, very fast. Anyone who's not Muslim is disgusting, and they're purposely yeah. doing that. She's just an hatred. Exactly. Yeah, so as I said, I'm Jewish myself, yeah. so I'm not here to defend them or anything. Anyone. I'm just he was an independent me, observer. I saw the act, like the physical attack, and I, for me, that's an assault. I'll be very honest with you. Gentlemen, something needs to be done it's immediately. We'll these we'll these yeah. Yeah. Ask them to move along. Yes. Yeah, you guys they're trying to be reasonable. Bygones. Bygones. I, I, wanna, I don't want yeah. to hold yeah. anyone. I know you guys are here every single day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Saturday, uh, Saturdays. Yeah. I have loads of conversations with that guy over there, so I know what you guys do. So Thank if you. you guys go back, I'll have a conversation with this guy. And I, I want to speak to that. I want to carry with that lady. If you ask him to move aside. Thank you very much. Right, excuse me, beside them. Yeah, now you're seeing it for yourself, you see. Now, if they come into our face again, yeah. Sorry about this, because you know what it is? You know, these are Christian missionaries who find it unacceptable that we're approaching the public, we're speaking to them about Islam, and they find that totally unacceptable. So, you know, we've got our table, we've got our gazebo there, we've had it for about three years. They deliberately come from different places to try to provoke us. Going right. Yeah, of course. So they deliberately try to put, look, we've got brothers here from different ethnicities who are Muslim. They've come from Christian background, they become Muslims. So what we're inviting you to, to reflect on, what I'm saying to you is in the Old Testament, in that Genesis 1.20. Can I quickly say something? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I feel like he has that approach because, you know, when I came up to you, you were like, oh, you know, have you heard about Islam? And I said, you're from Nigeria. And then you just instantly started to say why. 
it shouldn't be Christian, right? So I think that's where the issue comes in. It looks like Islam is like just learning Christianity to rebuke it, right? Pardon? Is that sorry? Like Muslims are learning Christianity, are learning parts of the Bible just to rebuke it. So I think that's where he's coming from. You know, you know what it is? You know what we try to do? We don't try to castigate anyone's faith. The Quran teaches us don't say ill about their religion. What? What? Why? Excuse, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you lying? Excuse me. This lady now, another missionary, is screaming in the background. You're lying. You're Can you do something? Lying. Another you're Christian missionary. Right. It doesn't say that anywhere. Yeah, Ignore her. She just right. Move out of the way. So deliberate. You can see who are the inciters now. She said, by the way, this lady was arrested, fined 150 pounds. She's been kicked out of Israel as well uh, due to her ill communication. Yes, you have. You have been. 150 pounds fine. You can see her on YouTube being arrested in Jerusalem. I was not arrested in Jerusalem. You were. You were. You were. Mate, mate, stop talking about her. Can you ask her to leave there? She's the one interrupting our conversation. Yeah. So just to continue, right, just to continue. So what we want people to reflect upon is who is God Almighty in the Bible. In so what all we say is look at the scriptures carefully. In John 17:3, Jesus says, "For this is eternal life, that they may know you as the only true God, and whom you have sent, the Messenger Jesus Christ." Sometimes you know, but what we're trying to do, all we're trying to do is people wake up, reflect. That's all we're trying to say. Oh. So if Jesus is not God, who is he? What? Fabulous question. And what we say, let Jesus speak for himself in the Bible. He has already done that. But, but let me explain to you. Let me, you asked me a specific question. Yeah. Who is Jesus? Now, what, when I say let Jesus speak for himself, in the New Testament, Jesus repetitively refers to himself as a messenger who was sent by God. Mark 6, 4. Matthew 21, 11. John 17, 3. John 4, 16. Let me explain. So, yeah. So the point being there, therefore, it's, 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 yeah. So, so the point I'm trying to, that's in the provid, that's in the providential sense. So the point I'm trying to raise to you is that we need to reflect upon these understandings. Who is God? In Matthew chapter nine, check this out. My, my favorite verse in the Bible, Mark chapter ten, verse seventeen. A rich young man, he runs up to Jesus. He says to him, "Good teacher." What must I do to get to eternal life? Jesus says to him, Why do you call me good? There's no one good except for only God alone. And yet you're so what excuse Jesus excuse me, officers? So this is what no, she's trespassing because she's interfering without what, reason. What, yeah. She's creating. But, but she's not supposed. This is this is inciting. This is inciting. We are just listening to him because we're telling good things. So just to see, see the desperation on you, you're intelligent lady. Why is she speaking in your behalf? So is, why do you call me good? There's no one good except. Let me just finish my point, please, and I'll let you come in. Why do you? There's no one good except for only God alone. So what Jesus is saying, he's deferring the title of goodness from himself and giving it solely to God. Notice something else happens in the same verse. The, the, Jesus till then tells the young man to Mark chapter 10 verse 17 onwards. Please just read it together. Please, all I want you to do is listen to me. If you don't want to accept it, fine. But I'm absolutely certain as a result of our interaction here, you will perhaps understand. Mark chapter 10 verse 17. You be the judge. Let, let not a colonial master be the judge. You've, you've, subdued, you've subdued them long enough. They can think now. You've subdued them long enough. Right, Mark 10, 17. Let's, can we read it together? Can you read it for me, please? Now, as he was going out on the road, one came asking, now that we found him, asking, good teacher, what shall I do that may inherit eternal life? So Jesus said to him, why do you call me good? No one is good but one that is God. You know the commandments, do not, do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not bear false witness, do not defraud, honor your father and your mother. And he said, and he answered and said unto them, teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. Stop there. Now, listen to my exposition and then please retort to my points. Initially, he, he says, why do you call me good? There's no one good except for only God alone. So he's deferring the title of goodness exclusively to God. 
first point. Second point, he then subsequently advises the young man what to do by keeping the commandments which he makes a list of those which are to keep. Notice something very interesting, young lady, happens in verse 20. In verse 20, the young man says to Jesus, Teacher, I have kept these commandments since I was a boy. So what do you unanimously observe? No longer does, G does that young man call Jesus good teacher, but simply teacher. Hence he has understood when I initially called him good teacher in verse 17, he took exception to being called good. He gave that title to God. So when he redresses him, he simply calls him teacher. Have you understood the point? I got what you're trying to see. But have you understood my last point? Do you, mind, do you mind repeating what you understood, just for the sake of clarity? First he said, just love God, because he said, only God is good. Yes, and then, and then in this verse 20, when he tells a young man, when the young man rather says to Jesus in response to his advice, he says to him, teacher, I have kept these commandments since I was a boy. So no longer does Jesus call the young man good teacher. Hence he has understood, when I initially called him good teacher, Christ took exception to being called a good teacher and he deferred that title exclusively to God. Hence he can't be God. That's just the grammar of the structure of the sentence. Okay, so regarding that, Jesus was in denying that he was good. He said he's not a good teacher. He is not a teacher. He is God, right? But where does he say that? Where that I'm God. He says this in. John 1 verse 10. He was in the world, and the world did not was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to he came to his own, but his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to come to the children of God, to those who to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, not of the will of the flesh, not of the will of man, but of God. Yeah, but. Uh, but you got onto John chapter 10, which has got no relevance to the chapter in Mark, chapter 10, verse 17. Anyway, when it says all things are made through Jesus, you know what this means? In the Greek, there's a Greek word called dia. Dia means for the sake of Jesus, on the account of Jesus, or because of Jesus. It doesn't say the Greek word, the Greek word for through. Yes, I know Greek. Yes, yes, more than you know. Go away. Go, go away. I don't want to speak to you. Why are you harassing me for? This is harassment. I will yeah. say, show, show so, you a so, okay, okay, right? okay. Let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. Let me show to silence this foolish man. It's because that necessitates that Jesus is a necessary person, necessary being. So I want to listen. I'm happy to. Christians. I'm happy to go live on camera, one on one with you, an MMA bout if you want me to. One on one, me and you. Yes. You're bigger and stronger than me. Should we have to knock me out in second? Should we arrange it? So let's arrange it on 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 stage. The police told me that I can't get physical with you. No, I'm talking about on the proper stage, a legal. Legal bout, Are you MMA. That you want to fight me on a legal stage? On camera? On the, no, on the legal stage. On so the, in a ring. On camera, you want to on fight me? No, no, not in a legal stage. So not here. Wanna, I want to be peace. Violence yes. right away. I said, on an MMA stage, me versus you one on one. You're bigger and taller and stronger and younger than me. You should be able to do me in seconds. Again, he's come back after all this. Literally. He no, just said he wants to fight me. I, I said to him, I'm willing to have a one on one with him in an no, MMA ring, a legal bout, bout, if he wants that. He's bigger than he should be able to knock me out in seconds. We'll see though. Accept the challenge or on camera. Accept that he should be able to blow me away in seconds, if you think so. His words don't really translate. Where's the bell? You say one word. <laughs> Not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, my my issue, so they've hijacked our conversation, as you can see over here. Well, they can't tolerate the point, the arrogance of these people. That's it. Call your backup. Yeah. Get rid of this guy. So, get rid of this guy. Ultimately, desperation. It, it, your Christianity is gone. So, no, they said, you said you're a strong guy, didn't you? You said you're strong. That, so prove it. Prove it. Prove it. I don't seek violence. Prove it. Uh, I've got, I got a stomach. I'm, I'm old. I'm fat. Then you should be able to knock me out in seconds. You should be able to knock me out. So let's have an MMA. I can arrange it through Muhammad Dijab. He knows a nice ring. All legal above board. All about legal above board. Let's see who stands straight. Let's see who stands straight. You or me. I want to see your laws of Greek by you sure. Right. Let's go. I'm still waiting for you. Guys. Can you? Can you? Can you? I'm so, sister, I'm if he says, but, who is a racist. necessary being? God is only a necessary being. Okay, so when he says because all things go through him, that yes. necessitates that the agent of Christ is necessary. 
That is God, which is necessary. Oh, okay, so and why is Christ being called necessary? Christ is not being called necessary, yeah, God is being called necessary. If he's saying because... When it says, hang on, hang on, now, see, this is it, they don't want to engage in the conversation. When it says through, the Greek word is dia, and I told you that on, on TikTok, when I humiliated no, you. When I said it's through the sake of... When did I ever use that verse with you? Which, I used you're, the double Yeah, it's alright, you're up, you're up for skaters. Where's that lady gone now? But by the way, if it says because, that means Jesus, the person Christ is necessary. Because why? Because you engage with him. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry sister, excuse me. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, you made a reference to John 1.10. So, you know, she just, she's, she's, no, she videoed me just on, I promise she won't be on the video. So, pardon? Okay, I don't want to keep, you need to go, please do. Please, you know, listen, what it is, like I said to you, they're deliberately trying to make sure they come from far away. You can watch these guys on, on, on Speaker's Corner, you know, in central London. They're, mission, yeah, they're missionary people, they know Islam is spreading. They find it intolerable. Simple as that. Oh yeah, I do. Because That's it. There's so yes, but there's nothing, nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing. I know there is. There's nothing. Really Try your best. But Try menace, your best. So no, a menace? You know, you're a nothing. You're a little kid. Just come out of GCSEs. My son will just finish you 30 seconds if you went on MMA ring with him. Okay. 30 seconds, literally. Okay. If, if he lasts more than 30 seconds, I'll give you five warriors. grand. I'll give you five grand, okay? okay. If you if you could knock him out, right? In five, it, it literally have listen, you in, in 30 listen, seconds. I really don't. Okay. Listen, no, no, I'm just an I MMA. Really no, I'm talking about in the legal yeah. MMA ring. Yeah. Legal, yeah. legally. Yeah. No, we don't need to fight. No, you're right. We're not. We're here for peace. But if he wants to go in a ring, MMA ring, one one truth that we'll see. They don't want to accept the challenge. How about you, my friend? You want to accept the challenge? You're bigger and taller than me. You're younger than me. You're a Christian, aren't you? Do you want to accept the challenge? MMA, me and you, Wait, you're probably, you like, MMA, you're probably about two, 20 years younger than me. Let's see if you can last the rep pace. Why does it matter? Yes, I thought as much. He's got right, a anyway, of, point B, listen to me. No, no, no. I think if you look at Abraham or Solomon, he had hundreds of wives. Oh, yeah, yes. So anyway, in conclusion, what we're trying for you to understand, based upon Mark 10, 17, in John chapter 17, verse 3, it's conclusive. Christ says there is only one God and he is the apostelius in Greek, a messenger who is sent by God. And that and is it unanimous. Because all things come through him. Which means through, yeah, when, it, when all things come through him, it means that for the sake of Jesus, not that Jesus wait, is, is the necessary? active conduit. Wait, he's not, no, wait, wait, he's not necessary, no. Necessary. That means he's not necessary. necessary. No, it doesn't. It means by necessity things must exist for Christ to exist. Which although that's You're talking a nonsense. Anyway. Talks about how Jesus was born of a virgin Mary. Yes, we accept this. Yes. It talks about how. Um, I ask him to read 39:4, where it says that if Allah had a son, he could adopt it into his creation. And then if you repair that with 43, he could drop it in his creation. 80, what are you talking about? 36, 39, talking about, anyway, verse 4. I just because these guys, it's pointless. They're missionaries. They don't want to listen. Um, they're just blinded by the fact that they're just. Anyway, in conclusion, I would ask you to consider Islam. It's the religion of truth. Sister, it's the religion can we of God. Have an actual discussion about that passage, Lashka. I can. Okay, but then if Jesus is not God, yes, there's no way he would have said, "I am the way, the truth, and the life." Let me explain to you. That's in John chapter. Allah, Allah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Allah, Allah, Allah. Can you can you ask him to read that? Because he said, "Go to the Quran." And if you read the Old Testament, Fair right, you see that every. Take up my challenge, MMA. Huh? Take up our MMA challenge. Oh, you you're younger. Want to go for it? I'm serious. Oh, you're Hello, serious? Uh, listen to me. You should be able to do me. I'm quite a bit older than you. Trust me. Okay. And then if you can't, I'll get my little young boy to try, sort you out. We'll debate about. I'll have an MMA fight with you if we discuss the metaphysics of Tawhid and Trinity. I'm not interested in that. Why not? I'm not interested in that. You just accept it without any conditions. Why? You're a young man. Let's see if you stand straight. Well, no, well, anyway, if you get some, let's say. Anyway, so in conclusion, what I'd like to offer you is that in Mark 10, 17, John 7, it should leave you as a thinking, intelligent person. There's only one God who is unlike his creation. In in Numbers 23, 19, it says God is not a man or the Son of Man. In Numbers Hose, yeah, Numbers 23:19. God is not a man, nor the son of man. In Hosea 11.9, same thing. God is not a man. Numbers 2319.
Have you got it? Yes. So the context of this verse, right? Yes. It's saying that it's not that God like changes his mind. It's not saying like so basically what this verse is saying is like God is not man. Who is man? Man is prayer. Man makes mistakes, right? So when you read the whole book, the chapters of the Old Testament, you can see that everything pointed to Jesus. The Old Testament prophecy pointed to Jesus. So if Jesus is just a messenger, why was he why was he sent by God? Why was he born on the Virgin Mary? Why 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 did the dove send on him when John baptized him? You know? Like truly if he's the way, the truth and the life, that's blasphemy, right? No. Can I explain well, to you, please? You Give Muhammad me an opportunity. Can, let me explain to you. John well, chapter 14 John onwards. So life, the story is that Jesus um, makes so, mention that he says, way, in my father's like, house, there are many yeah, rooms. There are many so, so, yeah. Yeah. so, so when you read the, when you read the right? verses, so up until verse 6, son. notice what it says. When Christ then says, I am the way, the truth and the life, he's telling those reticent, those reluctant disciples, such as Philip and Thomas, look, in order for you to get to God, you have to follow my way. Yeah, no because, Father, yeah so what does oh, no, he mean? He Let me explain me to you. So what, what does he so. mean by this? He simply means you have that to follow my, that's why I am the one. Let, let me explain, please. See, if he was respectful he to you, he would let me finish, but he doesn't want you to hear my explanation, what, which he's, 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 I haven't even finished making it. So, I haven't even finished, I haven't even finished making my point. So, John chapter, John chapter 14, verse 6, what he means to Thomas and to Philip is that follow my way. I am the way. Well, no, he doesn't say that. I am the life. Follow my life's example. And I am the truth. Follow the truth which I give to you. And what is that truth? John 17, 3. For this is eternal life, that they may know you as the only true God and whom you have sent, the messenger Jesus Christ. And the stands are no more that we can't even go any further. Look how mad he's speaking to himself. Okay, but if Jesus is not God, what was the crucifixion for? What was the sacrifice for? If it was just a messenger? Oh, this yeah. is so the, the, the attempt on Jesus' life was the, unsuccessful. The, oh, attempt, it, let me, I'll explain. What is that attempt? It was prophesied. That's what I'm telling yeah. you. It wasn't prophesied. Yeah, it was. It was, it was, prophesied. Yeah, it was. It was not prophesied. Yeah, it was. If you read Psalm 91, 10, 16, Psalm 116, Psalm 22, Psalm 33, Isaiah it actually tells Isaiah, Isaiah, no, it doesn't, it doesn't foretell Isaiah 9. Do you want to read together? Do you want to come sure. to our little table? Let's sit together. Let's go. Oh, it's a shame. You know what you do tonight? Listen to me. Promise me one thing. Just one thing. Well, shouldn't have to go to again. Hebrews yeah. chapter 5, verse 7. <laughs> right. Could you want to note this down? And compare and contrast this with Psalm chapter 116. Okay. Compare and contrast. You begging God, and the prophecy foretells that He will hear His cries, and He will save and Him does, from the does, fowler's and nest. Does, yes. And that, and that saving that's, that's was that attempt to harm Him from, will be uh, hell, will be unsuccessful. Absolutely. Not a touch, well, not no, a breach will wrong. come to Him. That means He won't be abandoned. It's tonight. absolutely yeah. clear. Yeah. Why was the book of Hebrews written? He doesn't so, know. So Hebrews was by scholarly consensus written. Um, yeah, according to most scholars, they say. The letters of Paul at Hebrews, he Titus, and no Timothy, they, they're not authentic letters. No Corinthians? Yes, you're going to say that. But that's, the, that's your Christian scholars who say that, not me. No, no, they don't. Hebrews that is not true. authentic of Paul. You that know why they say that? You know why they say that? Why? Because the terminology used in Corinthians and in Romans, it doesn't match with the, the language used in Hebrews. It's like somebody no else speaking. Or it's not expansive. You know why? Because the language is entirely different. It's he not, uses no, 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 those words which I never mentioned in Hebrews. That's not true. That's why. Just okay, imagine. So you're saying it's basically redundant because of the language being used, not the message being passed on. Even Hebrews what, does not teach that question. Jesus is God. Yeah, so what what Hebrews before? chapter 1 is teaching you is well, that Jesus, that by definition, is higher than the angels. Written. Notice it goes to great lengths so to explain why Hebrews is written for the purpose that is to show Jesus greater than the angels. Is that the That's all it's done. It it's not to show that he's God. Hebrews yeah. was written to show that Jesus is the perfect atonement for sin. And that that's Paul, that's Paul, not Jesus. Hebrews chapter 9. But that's Paul, so it's not Jesus. Paul is saying that. 
Yeah. Paul, never finished. Jesus did not say never that. Paul did not write Hebrews though. He, 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 did, he did, he did. He did a full right Hebrew, mister. Paul didn't write Hebrews though. And now you can't no, say no, nothing. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a fool in front of the Hebrew team. Okay, let me tell you. Let me show you. Just hang on a minute. Paul actually did not write Hebrews though. Okay. The, the letter to the Hebrews is written by an unknown person. See, I don't want to embarrass you, but listen. Well, so far, you've lied several times and embarrassed yourself. Oh you boy. You claim to know Greek. You Did Paul Greek, write Hebrews? You claim to know a number of other things. You claim that, that Christian scholars say that, no, that they don't know who wrote Hebrews. Well, I'm just trying to I'm show gonna show you. you. I know. I've read the well, works of well, your scholars. Bart you know, yeah, Him and Ephesus. Your attributed to Paul. Thank you. Mention, he does not mention the name of the author. So if you read the book of Ephesians, read that the book of Galatians. Well, you're, you're proving my case then. If, what you're showing to me then, yeah. listen what you've done. Listen what you have. Thank you very much. Yes. So good. You, you know what you've actually oh, done then. I it, I done? Inadvertently, you've shown to me that Paul didn't write Hebrews. Well, no, she hasn't actually. Okay, if Paul wrote or didn't write, what difference does it make towards the message that was being preached? Because Paul came with the counter message to that of Christ. Uh, that's incorrect. Oh, in, that let me explain. I'll, I'll prove it to you. Christ for example, Christ says so in, example, in Matthew chapter five, verse seventeen, "I have not come to change the law, but I have come." For, for, and exactly. not to change the law. Now, for However, what does Paul complete. say? Do so away with the, circumcision. The for circumcision is of the heart. So whereas in here, whereas in Genesis, the mark of the well, covenant is circumcision. Yeah, right, exactly. so, but Paul is the one who's dismissing that. Whereas Christ is not. In, in Matthew chapter 5 verse 17, so what is he saying? He says, I have not come to change the law. Yep. Yes, so as, and not to change a tittle well, or a, when he says not to change a tittle or a tattle, even a little bit. Yeah, and he does. Yeah. No, what he said. What? Listen, let me let me explain to you. Well, no, Jesus in Matthew point, chapter kind of five verse seventeen, he is saying, "I have not come to change the law, neither a tittle or a tattle, meaning not even a little exactly, bit." Exactly. Whereas Paul comes along and says, and "You know what? Let's change the circumcision law." That's why they summoned him to the council of Jerusalem. That's not true at all. When James and Peter found out that he is giving another message, they summoned him. They said to him, "They said to him, come, you're giving." Another message did, that you know about this, don't you? Was they got together, when they summoned him to the council of Jerusalem, that what he was saying was accurate. You know when the when the when so P, when the, when the close associates of that James, the, the head of the church, he summoned them. Well, he James said to, he summoned him, come because you are giving church. another message contrary to the well, message no, of Christ. It's in Galatians. It's also in Galatians chapter three. Yeah, it's nice. It's twelve. But okay, wait. Do you know that these Pharisees and Sadducees they were just religious people. They didn't have a relationship with God. Do you yes. know that? Yes, I agree with that. Yes. Okay. Just for your information. So yeah, as I was saying, my question was basically why was the book of Hebrews written? Book of Hebrews is basically written because people were returning back to Judaism and they're basically saying like, you know, we have a high priest that doesn't need to go into the inner court that doesn't need to go into the temple. Jesus is the perfect atonement for our sins. That is that you know that is yes. Paul yeah. preaching in Hebrews chapter nine verse twenty two. He's the one who makes mention the remission of sin is death. But when you go to Psalm chapter forty verse six, it says God does not require human sacrifice. So why did Paul change this then? Who wrote the book of Psalms? Okay, fine. David. Okay, the book of not Psalms. This, not this. Uh, the book of David. Psalms. Although he probably wrote it. Like David writing his feelings, right? And in him saying, "Oh, God does not require sacrifice," because he actually doesn't. Human sacrifice, what, not yeah, just what yeah. is it that he wants to give God that he already doesn't have. You not, know, that's what he was saying. He wasn't literally saying like, you know, God doesn't need anything from you. Obviously, God needs our belief. He needs like our hearts. Hence, why Jesus came so that we can believe in God through Jesus. We don't need to do. Five million prayers a day. We don't need to, you know, try to be good people because we can never be good people. We can never be good without Jesus. Do you guess? No matter how much you want to. So you know, you know, at that time when Jesus came, like in John 14:6, it was incumbent upon his followers to follow him because he's been selected as a prophet sent by God. Well, that's no, why Christ God says himself. in Mark chapter that's why six, verse four. He's Yes. Why? <coughs> Is he coming back to just living and the dead? Right. Let me explain this to you. Oh, really? So he comes okay. back as a he comes back as a just ruler who will invoke the God of law, the law oh, of God. Judge. So, for example, Wait, let me let me explain. You asked me a question. Yeah. So in is Judges, it makes mention in one Corinthians chapter fifteen, True. verse twenty-four. When it comes to the actual final judgment, once he's completed his task on the earth, he hands that back to God, 
and God is the final judge of where people go. But he is 1 God. Corinthians, no, but it's not referencing Jesus. But it's he referencing, he hands that, it, let me explain to you. He's trying so, his best so to make you feel uncomfortable. In you, 1 Corinthians, you have a prophet chapter, should we go, should we read it together? Where it humanity will go, heaven or hell. Let me show this to you. That's the sound of the work of God. Now, if you believe boy, Muhammad, for oh, example, boy, this guy is all over the place. You go, then you might believe that Muhammad is divine, which is fine because you're, you're pagan anyway. So maybe that's why you believe Yeah, and you are not. Uh, no, you're, you're, you're monotheist to the extreme. You're a very big so, monotheist. You're a Christian. If Wait, you're not Christian. He's a monkey and I'm not a monkey. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. What are you talking about? You just said he's a monkey. I didn't say that. I saw on camera. Everything's on camera. It's on camera. So what do you say? I didn't say anything. You just said that. I hear. I saw on camera. It's on camera. I know it's on camera. Yeah, but so we can record back to see if I said that. Because I'm very sure you said a monkey. You're wrong. You're wrong with your assumption. You have to wait until it's uploaded. We can't just do it just like that. Yeah, they can. No, we can't. And I'll show. I'll give you the channels. Watch it later. Okay, what you do? I'll give you all the channels. Watch it later. But the thing is, in Acts 13:1, it refers to Simeon with the N word. It calls Simeon N I G. No, it calls him a burnt face man. In the in the in the Greek, let me explain to you. In the Greek and Latin, the word for Neef means a burnt face. Right. Let's go to 1 Corinthians. I'll show you that verse. Right. Here's what I'll do. So he's talking about Acts 13:1. So to show you that this, this guy is just a racist, right? I'll, I'll show it to you right now. Look, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Then comes the end. When he hands over the kingdom to God the Father. Yeah, the kingdom. So what happens, well, what that means so, is that when he comes back, right here, he will do his right work there, on right? the earth and he on, will be victorious. In, in the Greek. You understand? Right so here. I, I, listen, I've enjoyed speaking to you. You know, it's been, you can right write, here. the name it of the says, channel is three channels. Niger, Sam Dawa. There was also, no country called Niger. You're African. Latin. Was there a country or called Latin. Niger 2,000 years ago? For example. No. Thank you. Because English was not around. So okay, so let me uh, give me an opportunity to explain to you. Africa, but he Africa. won't because he's scared. He's are frightened. You from West Africa, the history from West Africa. The, the yeah, history of the N word oh, is encapsulated. I, I, I am. I am. Oh, Do you know the, the, the river Niger? Yeah, Niger and Benway. Why is it called the river Niger? Because he's from like, the Niger state, Niger, Niger town. I'm so why is he called Niger? It's Listen to me. You can speak English very well. So that's why. If he was from so Niger, why does it? Why does right it? Here, so why does it? Why is it not called? Simeon that's called right. Niger. Why doesn't he say that? Say he was from Niger. He's just black. The no, no, listen, you're missing the point. He's trying to fool you. Let me explain to you. He's what's, trying to pull your, a, a quick Nigerian conclusion? country. What's your conclusion? He, he, he right, let me, let me, let me tell you. The word means in, 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 Sim, yes. in, in Acts, right you, know, here, you know what you should ask him? Because he doesn't want no you to know. That's why he, Give me one minute to speak. Let him speak for one minute. So let me explain to you. So let me explain to you. So the point I'm trying to address to you is that notice it called Simeon called Niger. It doesn't say Simeon from. If it was from, maybe I'll okay, But he's called, so he's distinguished by the color of his skin. Hence the term which later became phoneticized in English. But what relevance does this have to do with anything? Where it shows to you in endemically the Bible, the Christian, when they when they came over from uh, Europe into the west coast from, uh, from the west coast of Africa they and they shipped so they didn't come, okay, where did they come from? They're literally from Africa though. He's racist. No, I'm talking about the Christian missionaries who came over okay. with the slave traders from Europe, Portugal, uh, Britain, okay. Spain, these countries. So, so, when that, so he doesn't Christian want you to know. But what was the gap? What was the gap between... The origin of Christianity and, and then coming? Yeah. 1500 years. In between, between that time, between, sorry, what was we your have question? Egyptians, what was the Algerians, gap? Libyans, like, Carthaginians. We're talking about um, before Christ. And we're talking about the slave trade, which was literally like 1000, less than 1000 years ago. Yeah. So in this gap, what was happening? So in between the, the, the centrality yeah, of the message of the and enslaved black people. Yeah, so, no, no, that's not true. That's absolutely yes, false. He, he, he's he's just what you call a servant of his race, of this gentleman. He's a servant of this gentleman. Black that's all he is. Who they took from Africa. Anyway, I've enjoyed they speaking to you. It's been fun. Yeah. As Muslims, we're not allowed to speak. Oh, yeah. But it's all right. Yeah. We still respect you. Yeah. Not like them, where it says in, in the Bible, it says a woman cannot speak. Really? Wait, 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 wait. Show me. No, 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 show me. A woman. Show me. I know. It's, no, not, it's, not, it's okay. within context. Show me that. It's within, I don't want to show to you. Let me tell you something. Oh, the Bible was not, written, was not written in chapters and verses. It was written as a letter. Yeah. So that's why when you read this, yeah, He doesn't even know what you're talking about. When you read a scripture, you need to read its context. Post-text and pre-text. You oh. don't just take one thing out. Yeah, but even like, when you read... 
you know, ah, Paul said this. He doesn't oh, like women. No, no, no that's but not he did. What he? I didn't say he didn't say he liked women. What I'm saying to you, he said women should remain silent. That's not what that he said. That was context, though. But why should they remain? That why was, can't men remain he was silent as well? At that time. Why can't men? If, why didn't he say women and men remain silent? Context. Does he ever say men remain There's silent? A there was a context behind that. Yep. Anyway, so, I've enjoyed speaking to you. I'm gonna wrap up things over here. Okay. So it's been a great conversation. We've had a very pleasant sure. ladies. These yes, what you call yeah. human. This these these um, examples of humanity supposedly are after us because Islam is spreading. On his shows, he comes around. You are reproducing more. That's all. So he comes around trying his best to show to us that Islam can't spread. So they've made so much fighting. They've come try to attack us today. Everybody saw that earlier on. He's made an accusation which you can watch back. Everybody can watch back. Did I call this particular senile individual with the M word? It's all there. The channel is called Sam Dawa. Dawa to Seoul, so, SF now, Dawa. Now See if I called him that with that word. That you Three him channels. Of calling me the N -word. Uh, you you're a fool, sir. Oh, yeah, you just make, you, you just right? play the game like so, you've always done historically, worry, Englishman. Englishman, you're very crafty. So, you fooled your I'm own people. I'm going to need you to show Get me lost. a lexicon. Go and put your head up, up the cliff. Right, that's it. Finish. Show me a lexicon for